As a kid, the screen factions were confusing and didn't make much sense to me, and I couldn't tell you the differences between them. Well, younger me, it's not as bad as you think. The screen factions may actually be the simplest. As far as production structures go, the screen factions are the most consistent. They have no variations other than what upgrades and support power each building provides. What about support structures? Other than Reaper 17 having a growth stimulator instead of a growth accelerator, all of the factions are the same. The Buzzer Hive never gets any upgrades, the Photon Cannon can always get shard launchers, and so can the Plasma Missile Battery. All the other things don't change either. Infantry. Finally, some differences. Every faction has the Buzzers, Disintegrators, the Assimilator, Shark Troopers, and Ravagers. Buzzers never get any upgrades. The Shark Troopers can always get Plasma Disc Launchers, and they can get Blink Packs in Scrin and Reaper 17. The Disintegrators and Assimilators don't get any upgrades, except in Traveler 59, where they must be on drugs or something because they all get a speed increase from Advanced Articulators. Actually, all of Traveler 59's infantry get Advanced Articulators, except for the Prodigy, which can teleport and has a different kind of mind control, so it kind of balances out. Moving on. Scrin is the only one with the Mastermind, Ravagers get blue shards in Reaper 17, and Traveler 59 has the Cultist to itself. Every Scrin faction has the Seeker, Corruptor, Mechapede, and Eradicator Hexapod. The Seeker can always get shard launchers, all the others don't get any upgrades. Scrin and Reaper 17 have the Devourer tank, and it can get conversion reserves in Reaper 17. Unlike Scrin and Traveler 59, Reaper 17 has a Shielded Harvester, which doesn't cost any extra by the way. These factions have a similar thing to the GDI and Nod factions going on with the Annihilator Tripod. For GDI, instead of the Juggernaut with the first and last factions and the Behemoth with the middle one, or for Nod, the Avatar with the first and last factions and the Purifier for the middle one, Scrin has the Annihilator Tripod in Scrin and Traveler 59, and the Reaper Tripod in, well, Reaper 17. The Annihilator Tripod can get force field generators in Scrin. Aircraft is probably the simplest category for the Scrin factions. All of the Scrin factions have the Drone Ship and Storm Rider. Scrin and Traveler 59 keep the Devastator Warship and Planetary Assault Carriers from Reaper 17. Probably because Reaper 17 decided to focus more on ground warfare. Those two previously mentioned ships can get the Force Field Generators in Scrin and get the Traveler Engines in 59. You know, because it's in the name. The last category, Support Powers, is also pretty simple. Each faction has Reconstruction Drones, Tiberium Vibration Scan, the Swarm, i Seed, Lightning Spike, Infestation, Phase Field, Overlord's Wrath, and of course, the Mothership. I was surprised to learn that for Reaper 17, Tiberium Vibration Scan is actually free instead of costing $300. Scrin and Reaper 17 keep Stasis Shield for themselves, and Scrin has Wormhole, Reaper 17 has Shock Pods, and Traveler 59 has Temporal Wormhole to itself. To summarize, Scrin balances itself by not specializing in any one category and protects its units with force fields. Reaper 17 utilizes Tiberium to power up its units, specifically its vehicles, and Traveler 59 takes SPEED IS key too seriously. If you liked this video, you might like where this series all started, if you haven't watched it already. See ya.